Tesla's ambitious plan to mass-produce over 10,000 Optimus humanoid robots this year has reportedly hit a major roadblock. According to TechSpot, production has been suspended due to critical hand design issues, as engineers struggle to build human-like dexterous fingers capable of precise movement. Thousands of Optimus bodies are said to be sitting idle in Tesla's factories, missing arms and hands, awaiting a solution. Could this be the first major stumble in Elon Musk's billion-dollar humanoid dream? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Bot, Tesla EVs, and the latest news. Why did Tesla halt the production of Optimus? Tesla's failure to meet its Optimus production target didn't come as a surprise to most observers. During an investor call earlier this year, Elon Musk confidently declared that Tesla would produce and internally deploy 10,000 Optimus robots by the end of the year, or at least a few thousand. It was an ambitious goal, especially considering Musk's repeated claims that Optimus could become the most important product in Tesla's history, potentially surpassing electric vehicle revenue in the future. However, reality has proven less optimistic. Multiple sources have reported that mass production was suspended over the summer pushing the 10,000-unit goal further out of reach. That said, this doesn't mean Tesla is abandoning Optimus. On the contrary, Musk continues to emphasize the project's importance. He has stated that humanoid robots could eventually account for up to 80% of Tesla's future value, a bold claim given that production has yet to reach industrial scale. His insistence on doubling down on promises right after missing a key milestone reflects a familiar pattern. Whenever doubt arises, Musk responds with an even bigger vision. It's a strategy that helps maintain investor confidence in Tesla's long-term future, even when short-term results fall behind expectations. Looking back at Optimus' development journey, it's clear that this is more than just a tech product. It's a central piece of Tesla's broader ambition to build a fully automated society. Optimus was designed to handle repetitive factory tasks such as assembling components, moving materials, and managing logistics. According to the original plan, a fleet of Optimus robots would be deployed across Tesla factories by the end of this year, replacing humans in physically demanding or hazardous roles. But, with production now delayed, the goal of having robots perform useful tasks by the end of the year remains only theoretical. Still, optimism around the project persists, largely thanks to the learning and improvement capabilities of Optimus Gen 3. These robots are being trained using the same AI foundation as Tesla's full self-driving FSD system. As a result, every new Optimus can learn faster, perform more accurately, and update its skills through software, much like a Tesla car. Once this self-improving loop reaches maturity, scaling up production could happen much faster than it did with electric vehicles. Globally, however, Tesla is no longer alone in this race. China is rapidly emerging as a powerhouse in humanoid robotics with companies like Unitree, Fourier Intelligence, and UB Tech already launching consumer-ready models. China also leads the world in robotics-related patents, reflecting both strong investment and rapid innovation. Meanwhile, Europe remains focused on industrial robotics, while the U.S. continues to direct much of its funding toward research and defense robotics. This leaves Tesla in a challenging position. To dominate the global market, it must not only lead technologically, but also accelerate production before competitors close the gap. Some analysts suggest Musk is employing what they call a belief extension strategy, continuously setting grander goals to sustain investor enthusiasm and secure funding for long-term projects. In the case of Optimus, even though mass production has been postponed, Musk has reframed the narrative, positioning Optimus not merely as a robot assistant, but as an AI platform capable of performing human-level work. It's a smart communications move, shifting the public's focus from present-day setbacks to the promise of future breakthroughs. There are also rumors that Tesla plans to showcase a dancing army of Optimus robots at its upcoming shareholder meeting, possibly a coordinated demonstration meant to prove that the robots can move, synchronize, and learn actions in real time. While largely symbolic, such a presentation would align perfectly with Musk's knack for using spectacle and showmanship to reinforce belief in technological progress. In the end, missing the 10,000-unit Optimus target isn't the end of the story. It's a reminder that Musk's visions often run years ahead of reality. 
If he succeeds in making Optimus a truly useful commercial product, even one deployed internally within Tesla factories, it will still represent a monumental milestone in automation history. But if Musk fails to turn his promises into tangible results by 2026, Tesla risks losing its pioneering edge to fast-moving Asian competitors. In the humanoid robot race, no one waits, and today's setback for Tesla may well be just a temporary pause before the next great leap in Elon Musk's quest to rewrite the future. How did problems with the robot's hands and arms affect its overall performance? After a series of impressive demonstrations, from Optimus bending down to pick up objects to folding shirts with precision, many believed Tesla's humanoid robot was ready for mass production. But reality turned out to be far more complicated. According to a TechSpot report, the main reason for the production halt stemmed from a series of mechanical failures in the joints and actuator modules, forcing engineers to redesign the entire structure of Optimus's forearms and hands. Durability tests revealed that several prototypes suffered from motor overheating, weak grip strength, and inconsistent torque control, leading Tesla to pause assembly operations and focus on refining the design. Tesla engineers discovered that Optimus's hands and arms did not yet achieve the desired levels of precision and durability. During real-world testing, the motors in the arms often overheated, joints wore out quickly and the fingers lacked the necessary grip force to lift or hold heavy objects. It might sound minor, but for a humanoid robot, a single malfunction in the wrist joint can throw off the entire system's balance or even damage the central control software. The issue wasn't only about movement precision, it was also about torque management and thermal control. When the robot's hands perform delicate tasks, like opening a bottle, folding clothes, or tightening a screw, the motors must deliver high power within an extremely compact space. Continuous heat buildup without fast dissipation can shorten the lifespan of electronic components or even cause shutdowns. For this reason, Tesla decided to completely redesign the mechanical structure of the arms and hands while also developing a microcooling system to ensure long-term reliability. Three months ago, the information reported that Tesla had halted all Optimus assembly and parts procurement while the engineering team worked on a full redesign of the defective components. Hundreds of robot bodies were already built but left incomplete, as the company wanted to ensure the new arms reached high reliability before resuming production. This wasn't an easy decision. It slowed down commercialization and meant Tesla would likely miss Elon Musk's earlier target of having a few thousand robots operating internally in factories by this year. However, viewed from another angle, this pause might be a necessary step backward, for Tesla, stopping to rebuild from scratch has never been a failure. It's part of their continuous learning process. Musk once said, The biggest mistake is being afraid of making mistakes. We only improve by fixing them fast. Optimus is following that very philosophy. In humanoid robotics, the hands are the most complex component, requiring a blend of mechanical strength, joint flexibility, and AI-driven precision. Even companies like Boston Dynamics or Figure AI have spent years perfecting hand movement alone. Elon Musk has publicly admitted that Optimus's upper limbs remain the hardest technical challenge. Mimicking human motion isn't just about making the hands move, it's about enabling them to feel force, adjust feedback, and respond intelligently like real humans. When Optimus picks up a fragile glass, it must know how much pressure to apply, firm enough not to drop it, but gentle enough not to break it. That level of tactile sensing and signal processing is extraordinarily complex, far beyond what conventional industrial robots can achieve. Importantly, Tesla's engineers aren't just fixing small flaws. They are rebuilding the entire arm structure for better durability and performance. The joints must last tens of thousands of operating hours without degradation, while control software is being upgraded to minimize latency between sensor input and movement response. An internal source revealed that Tesla is testing a next-generation actuator that can deliver twice the force with lower energy consumption, allowing Optimus to operate for hours without overheating or downtime. Meanwhile, hundreds of unfinished robot bodies are sitting in storage, waiting for the new ARM modules to be finalized. Some might see this as a sign of stagnation, but in reality, it's proof of how Tesla operates, build, test, fail, improve, repeat. This test-fail-fix-repeat cycle is the same process that transformed Tesla's early bug-ridden EVs into some of the most reliable and efficient cars in the world.
It's also worth noting that Tesla isn't a traditional robotics company. They're applying EV-style mass production thinking, the philosophy of optimizing every component for scalability, to an entirely new field. That means every small improvement can have massive implications when scaled to tens of thousands of units. The redesign of the hands and arms isn't just about fixing issues. It's about ensuring that Optimus can be mass-produced affordably, a key factor if Tesla wants to make humanoid robots accessible to the public. How is Tesla's production ambition facing delays? Tesla's bold ambition to mass-produce its humanoid robot Optimus is now facing a serious delay. The company had originally aimed to build thousands of units by the end of 2025 and deploy them across its factories to handle repetitive and labor-intensive tasks. However, that target has now slipped. According to a report from Electrek, Tesla has postponed the plan by several months while engineers work to refine the robot's mechanical design, particularly in the arms and hands. The company has not yet provided a new production timeline. The delay coincides with a major leadership change within the Optimus program. Milan Kovac, the project head, departed earlier this year and was replaced by Ashok Eliswamy, Tesla's autopilot software director. Eliswamy now oversees both AI integration and robotics, signaling Elon Musk's strategy to unify the company's AI systems across vehicles and humanoids. Optimus was first unveiled in 2021 as a humanoid robot meant to take on repetitive, dangerous, or tedious jobs in factories and homes. Standing about 1.7 meters tall and weighing around 60 kilograms, it is designed to move like a human, using cameras and neural networks for perception and navigation. Musk has repeatedly claimed that Optimus could one day cost less than a car and be widely used in manufacturing, logistics, and even healthcare. He has gone as far as to say, in the long run, Optimus will represent the majority of Tesla's value. Still, many analysts remain skeptical. They argue that Tesla faces the same barriers that have slowed other robotics companies, achieving human-like dexterity, fine motor control, and cost-effective mass production. While Tesla has showcased several prototypes performing simple actions, such as walking, waving, and sorting objects, observers note that some of these demos relied on remote control or pre-programmed movements rather than full autonomy. Despite the pause, Tesla insists it remains fully committed to the project. Sources close to the company told TechSpot that the redesign phase should be completed within two months, after which gradual production may resume. For now, the dream of Optimus floats between ambition and engineering reality, and Tesla's success will ultimately hinge on mastering the delicate choreography of motion, strength, and precision that begins, quite literally, with its hands. We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.